Hello and welcome to Matt Slam 13. Hello Slammers. Yes, we are back with Sunday Slam. Just a bit of a random video for you, just about wrestling. Uh, we'll go through what happened in the draft and a little look at WWE's calendar this year. Uh, as we think they are working with WWE, uh, sorry, AEW for some reason. Um, but yeah, anyway, folks, give us the first name for the draft that happened then. We had Charlotte Flair going to SmackDown. Yeah, Flair going to SmackDown. What's, what's that about? I mean, I thought that you... Well, you thought that they would all make them lynch to yeah. Raw then or something, but um, instead they've gone, gone to go over to SmackDown. That means there's officially no belts of women on the Raw. Uh, yeah, no women's belts on uh, Raw, oh. is it, or tag team belts? Or they more to brands, aren't they? Yeah, um, so yeah, that happened then. Uh, another match, uh, sorry, another person next. Oh, we had Reigns going to SmackDown. Obviously Reigns then stayed, the Universal yeah. Championship is obviously staying at uh, SmackDown. What else? Drew to SmackDown. Drew McIntyre has gone to SmackDown. Mm -hmm. That's somebody that could potentially take the belt off Reigns in, in, going forward in the future. Uh, what else you got? Um, what Big E going to Raw? Obviously Big E staying on Raw then with the WWE Championship. Yep. Uh, so WWE Championship stays on Raw and Universal it stays on SmackDown. Um, Belair, Bianca Belair yeah. has gone to Raw. Bianca Belair has moved uh, to Raw then, so that should be good. Mm -hmm. Even though there's no belts on there, <laughs> I had to contend with. But yeah, uh, great. That's a great acquisition for Raw. We've got um, RK Bro moving to Raw. Yeah, as well. RK Bro staying on Raw then, mm -hmm. uh, not moving to, staying to. Uh, mm -hmm. That means so there's no belt switches there. Mm -hmm. Like last year, was it New Day and. Current business or something like that? No, was it? it was True Profits. And oh, it was True Profits in New Day, when it, when yeah. they just switched about them, basically. Mm -hmm. uh, so, RK Bro, Raw Tag Team Champion staying on Raw. Yeah, New Day. Yep. Smackdown. New Day have gone to Smackdown. Mm -hmm. So, Big E goes to Raw and the New Day go to Smackdown. So, they split up the New Day, or the, the three, mm -hmm. uh, again. Um, I'm looking forward to New Day versus Usos at some point in the future. Mm -hmm. Edge has gone to Raw. Edge has gone to Raw. Yeah. I, I don't know, is it, it's, just, it's a bit part time, isn't it? It's, the bigger names have gone to SmackDown. And it, obviously, Edge is a massive name, but he's a bit part, not a full time wrestler. He's out injured again at the moment. Yeah. That also ends the Seth Rollins feud, uh, unless Rollins moves on Raw on Monday. But yeah, Edge to uh, Raw then. We've got Happy Corbin. Happy Corbin, yeah, and uh, Riddick Moss, or his name is Madcap. Yeah. Madcap and Rotter Ross. Madcap Ross. Are staying on something, are they? Yeah, moving. Staying on SmackDown. Um, okay, Corbin staying on SmackDown then. Next up. We have got Nikki Ash oh, yeah. and Rhea Ripley going to Raw, but they can go anywhere. Really. Yeah, the, the, the tag team champions then are officially officiated to Raw, but yes. obviously the women's belt. So if they lost to Raw, they'd be on Raw. Um, can go all over the shop. Um, we've got Hit Row. Hit Row, yeah, all four members of Hit Row, so Swerve mm -hmm. Scott and yeah, the other ones yeah. are all going to. Um, we're going to Smackdown. Smackdown. Smackdown yeah, so moving up from NXT uh, to Smackdown then. Should we look good for uh, sort of a good future sort of youngster there? We've got Keith Bearcat Lee. <laughs> yeah, Keith with the Bearcat in the middle of his name now. Uh, Keith Lee on Raw. Um, <laughs> big old monster of a man. Hopefully, he really gets a push. Mm -hmm. And I'd look forward to say maybe Big E versus Bearcat in the future. We've got Naomi going to Smackdown. Naomi Smackdown then. Um, obviously. Was it something to do? Hated that yeah. fact because they had a bit of a fallout. And uh, yeah, so yeah, Naomi's back down. Hopefully, she gets a sort of push now, hopefully. Mysterio's going to Raw. Yeah, with Dominic and Rey Mysterio, even though they, they wasn't quite getting on the last few months, are going over as a tag team. So whether, mm -hmm. we'll see what happens with those two. Um, we've got Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. Going to SmackDown. Going to SmackDown, yes. That's another person you can see with. It. TLC's coming back. Um, be a great feud with Roman Reigns, perhaps. That'd be another. Maybe a little bit last push for Hardy there. Um, got Austin Fury. Going Austin to Fury, Raw. yeah. Uh, was he going? Raw. Uh, yes, Austin Fury to Raw then. Uh, quite young talent. Seen him around for the last couple of years or so. Um, hopefully, he does some good things. And we've got one last one. Now, this isn't going to a brand. This isn't going back to a brand. This is a free agent. Hmm. And this is Brock, Brock Lesnar. Lesnar. Yes, obviously, Brock Lesnar is now a free agent. So he can go. He can go and beat Reigns for the belt, and then he can go and beat Big E for the belt, be the world champion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so yeah, all thanks to Paul Heyman apparently. Obviously, we've got to start a bit of an argument in there with Roman Reigns at the end of SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, the second part of the draft is tomorrow night on Raw. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, we get some Juicy news. Entrance. Yeah, some new surprises uh, going on with that one. Um, got Extreme Rules going on there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that was the draft uh, then, or the first part of the draft then. So it's at one, two, three, four. There's also 
Was it Aaliyah? I think yes. it, um, she'd gone to, she'd gone to sm- Smackdown. Smackdown. Uh-huh. Um, I remember it was backstage, wasn't there? It was now. There's a couple of small names as well. A lot of uh-huh. things happening yes. uh, backstage. Um, obviously, more of the commentators are staying the same. Uh, referees are staying the same. And Kayla's just going to mix between two. Oh, no, she's Smackdown, isn't she? Kayla Braxton is obviously staying. Who's Raw? Huh? Well, yeah, who's Raw's commentator? The Rogers. Or interviewer, what I'm saying. Well, not sure. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, comments down below. Who's the actual? Who's the? Uh, raw, raw, raw interviewer. Yeah, the interviewer. Who does all the interviewing on Raw? Um, so yeah, uh, that was the draft. Then that's pretty much today's video. We was going to go through this calendar. We were looking at the 2021 calendar um, from wrestling. Now we're just thinking about. Oh my God, it's WWE and AEW combined on this video. Obviously, Randy Orton still is rest WWE. The Fiend is on here. Gone. Drew McIntyre is on here. AJ Styles, Mustafa Ali, Braun Strowman, gone. John Cena, can't see him. Uh, Daniel oh, Bryan. When this was released, whenever merch is released of Cena, he's not there. But when when the merch has been taken off sale, no one get it anymore, <laughs> Cena arrives. Cena arrives and then he obviously gets remade again. Yeah. Daniel Bryan also on here. So Daniel Bryan also AEW. So WWE are advertising Daniel Bryan on here. Um, Street Profits, obviously they're still there. New Day as a three. Mm-hmm. Seth Rollins as the original Messiah and Roman Reigns as the Messiah. So this calendar was pretty much out of date the minute it started, mm-hmm. um, which is pretty, I think on the women's one there, Ruby Riot, uh, she's obviously gone to AEW now. Um, so yeah, they when they do calendars, I think they should need to do something a bit different. Yeah. They, uh, I don't know, how could they improve their calendars then? Bit maybe ra- they a just, random question for you. Maybe they just release separate months ones, so <laughs> you just get a new one. Print your own, uh, month to month basis. Um, well, I still have an invest in this week, and nothing's really happened much, has it? No. Uh, oh, obviously, WWE is meant to be coming to Cardiff next year. Uh, Principality Stadium, SummerSlam. Uh, could be coming to the UK. Happened, was it, 92 yes. at Wembley? Um, so, yeah, hopefully that happens. And obviously, WWE are coming to the UK in November as well uh, for a full UK tour. Um, so, the things are starting to get a bit better when it comes to wrestling and touring. Uh, we've got a few events in we obviously we're going to meet Bret Hart hopefully yep. in November we've yep. got a sit down photo shoot and stuff with Bret Hart um, at uh, a Comic Con I think AEW Superstars going to be there as well I think we've got Kenny Omega going to be there Sting's going to be there Jungle Boy Luchasaurus uh, Bret Baker yep um, where is your mouse? is it? I'm more of a WWE person you're more of an AEW person I would just like wrestling we are we are. I see. We don't. We don't watch AEW as such. I mean, I started watching it a bit more now. Um, I stick with WWE because I know it. But it's this aimed at an old audience. Um, yes. If you look at the audience in AEW, they seem to be the older, I don't know, twenty plus sort of thing. Whereas WWE are trying to appeal to the family. Well, I st- I stick with WWE because the whole time I've been alive, mm. it's been a thing. It's oh, yeah. been very popular. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, it's, that's the reason, but AEW obviously shoot up there. It's getting the views, it's getting the, it's getting the screen time, getting the bigger attendances. Oh, I'm also saying I wasn't born in 1970 as well. No, no. no. And um, yeah, so obviously with the names like they get them with CM Punk and Daniel Bryan and the rumours that Fiend meant to go in there, things like that. But you've got too many superstars, really. Too many superstars, perhaps. So maybe that's the um, maybe that's an issue. Mm-hmm. Got to keep everybody happy, I suppose. Um, but yeah, that probably much wrap it up for today. If I add to that one, um, do you like, comment, subscribe? Yeah, and um, stay safe. Was that was uh? Don't have a good day. Have a great day. There you go. See you later.